I'm Karen Kaufman, and uh, my show here um, at George Cutras Fine Art in Pomona, California, is uh, uh, called Grounded. And so I wanted to share a few pieces with you, maybe give you some insight to um, the process of how I think. A lot of people say, you know, now that I'm painting abstracts, I used to paint and draw very realistically, and that was important for me to understand shapes and forms and do all of that sort of thing to learn. But um, now I'm more interested in some of the ideas that sort of, that aren't, you can't really express any other way with words. And uh, working abstractly, I've been using uh, mono prints on the printmaking. It's a printmaking process. Um, I really like that. It um, gives me a lot of uh, freedom to try a lot of varieties of things and possibilities. And I like that idea of, hmm, that scientific experiment, I would like to try this, or oh, what would happen if this happened? And it really frees the creative spirit, and I, um, I like working that way. It, it, uh, I, th I think that's why, as an artist, um, it, it, it propels you and keeps you going. And, and I, I've been painting for uh, a lot of years. My, I started when I was a child. My mother was good at drawing, and we didn't have a lot of money. So she would entertain us by making sketches of our dolls or just of different things. And, uh, and so I watched her and really learned. And her, her um, um, ability was just amazing to me. And so I used to practice um, doing handwriting like hers. And I think there's something about that. The movement that you do when you're, um, paint, when you're painting is very rhythmic and very much like handwriting, where it expresses the way you move, the way you um, kinesthetically think. And uh, I, I, I like incorporating that sort of idea of, of um, dance movement with the way, because I was always interested in, in dance as a child. And, and uh, I think that there's something about uh, it translating to your whole body moving when you're painting. And a lot of the ones that I have here, uh, you'll see that they're very much inspired by nature. And that primarily was, I, I can say, um, my main inspiration. Um, I would study things very, very intently as a child. I'd look out the window and my teachers would say, oh, she's a daydreamer, but I was a good student. I was done with my work and I would be noticing how the leaves would be shimmering and the light would be shining through them. And to me, it was, it was beyond uh, this world. It, it, it gave me kind of a, the idea that there was something beautiful all around us. And I, I wanted to kind of incorporate that into what I was doing when I got older. Um, it's kind of a positive, optimistic sort of viewpoint of bringing joy or beauty or, or um, playfulness or a sort of a lyrical quality, organic, lyrical, playful quality to my work. And uh, so bringing that joy, I think when I'm making a mark, I want it to be an elegant mark. And that's where sort of the, the dance movement kind of, um, as I'm applying it, a lot of times I'll wear rubber gloves, particularly like with this one that's highly textured. Um, I, I'll put um, acrylic gel medium, which is sort of a, like, fro I mean, not frosting, but sort of like frosting, and um, make shapes. And um, each shape, it's not, I don't have an idea what I'm starting with or what it's going to end with. And to me, that's the idea of discovery. That's what makes it exciting. That's what propels me. And, uh, and, and that's, that's what keeps me going. Uh, when I was uh, younger, um, a lot of the viewpoints that I had, my dad was a pilot. So we saw a lot of, uh, we lived in Canada for a few years. He was a bush pilot there. And uh, we saw a lot of viewpoints, patterns from the air and a lot of snow um, and sort of grids. And I got very much interested in uh, that kind of way of dividing up space and uh, viewing um, the landscape from afar. And so the way I divide up even my, some of my paintings, uh, lately in this particular show, I'll work with a circular sort of shape, uh, which is very symbolic to me of spirit, of unity, of something that is bigger than us as a physical. And uh, the square sort of 
is to me the physical. So a lot of times you'll, uh, in this particular show, you'll see circle within a square where it's expanding. And, and a lot of uh, the ideas I like to leave sort of unsaid and let people take away from it what they want to. I don't want to say, this is what I was thinking, you have to think the way I think, because I think everyone's opinions and viewpoints are valid and I, and I really want that expression, everyone to be who they are, who, because I've always struggled with that idea. People say, oh, just be, be yourself. What exactly does that mean? And so I've thought, okay, um, if I'm doing work in the way I'm seeing it, it seems authentic to me, it, um, it pleases me, um, and, and it just, at a gut level response, you know you're doing what is expressive in positive ways, um, maybe changing things that, um, um, I think it's almost like a, a healing process, a, a way of making you whole. Uh, it has so many different um, profound uh, things that, about making art. So I really encourage you know, some of the people who, you know, they want to make it a profession, and I, I've made a profession, but there were some stair steps in between. I uh, went to uh, uh, Cal State Fullerton and uh, um, got a double major in fine art and in environmental design. So I went towards uh, interior design as a profession and p painted. And I uh, disciplined myself very, um, you know, I had my uh, times that I set aside this when I painted. And um, I think that's the main thing is keep doing it. Keep doing it, um, whether it's bringing you money or not. And then all of a sudden, things start falling into place. And that's the beauty of it is things unfold if you just point yourself in the direction. Um, a friend of mine who's a photographer said, you know, it's like, uh, Doug McCullough, he said, it's like driving at night in a fog. You keep going, um, you can only see as far as your lights can, can shine, but you know you'll get to your destination. So it's sort of a proceed by faith, whatever you want to call it. But um, if it's bringing you joy and it's, it's making you feel like, yes, this is, this is who I am, then it's, you know, that's what you are as an artist. So in other words, do what you love. Do what you love, really. I mean, for money or not for money, just do what you love. Honestly, I mean, at the end of your life, and I've lost uh, close friends. It's really at the end of your life, you know, that's what's important: is doing what you love, relationships, valuing people, and um, that's uh, to me a, a life well lived is the best kind of art. Really, if um, art mimics um, real life, then. Um, live a good life and uh, your work as you grow your work grows and uh, some of my early paintings I'm like horrified you know oh please don't let anyone see them but you know what it, it each one built on another one and uh, now I stand back and I think wow that pleases me I, I really have come a long way and it's very gratifying basically with hard work and perseverance you you accomplish what you wanted to accomplish. Exactly. In fact, there's a really good book that I love um, called Persist um, by Peter Clothier. And it, it is an amazing book. And it's about that idea of persist, continue, even though this world has gone mad with commerce. You know, as artists, you need to be doing what you love, love, whether there's a financial reward for it immediately or not, or ever. You know, there's value. I think we actually change, um, you know, on a, I, I don't have any proof, but I think you really do change the world um, and our evolution in humanity for the better by being creative. It's like you trust who you are at, at a very deep level, and, and there's such value in that. I love the way you put that. Um, one other thing, how can we see more of your work uh, where you're showing now? And how can we contact you? Oh, well, um, here at George Cutris Fine Art in Pomona, that would be the best place. To, this show will be going on till February 22nd, 2014. And then, um, then he represents me here. So you'll be able to um, George Cutris Fine Art slash Main Street Gallery in Pomona, California. And I want to do my own personal shout out to George, too, because I really love this gallery. It's one of my favorite galleries. 
Yeah, he's. And I'm glad you were here. I really love your work. Thank you. And uh, it's it's they're great people. And uh, and uh, then my website, uh, of course, my name Karen at Karen uh, Karen Kaufman dot com. And how do you spell? K, uh, it's K A R E N K A U F F M A N dot com. And then that gives you. I have uh, another gallery also, but. Um, um, We'll just stick to it uh, right now. Uh, anyway, it's I'm I'm really happy that uh, uh, the show, the way it looks, uh, the work that's been done for it, just really a lot of um, heart and soul in it. And I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. And uh, my pleasure. I'm good, looking forward to uh, seeing some more of your work and and enjoying the show. Thanks thank so much. Thank you. Thank you. Very much.